Bro is a Kane main. It's just Kane. Someone likes Kane. You just made Kane. It's Kane from League, bro. Kane? Who the hell is this guy anyway? Oh no, God! No, God, please, no! 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 Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the second devlog of my game. The first devlog has been out for a while now, and oh my god, the support is unbelievable. I am so thrilled to see the incredible support and feedback from the community on the first devlog. Thank you all for your interest and encouragement, it truly really means a lot to me. And with your support, I am more motivated than ever to work in this game. I have received many feedback, and some of them mentioned that the main character, who now has a name by the way, Valyard, resembles Kane from League of Legends. While I personally don't believe they are too similar, I understand the comparison and the familiarity between them. After all, they are shirtless guys with a scythe. I'm not a League of Legends player, so I didn't know that Kane is even existed. The character I made is just a combination from my terrible modeling skills and my imagination. And to be honest, I'm fine with it for the time being. With that being said, I'm happy to tell you that a concept artist has volunteered and contacted me about helping with the character design and the concept art. And he is doing an amazing job. I can't thank him enough for his aid. So probably Valyard's character design is going to be different anyway. But not so much, I like his design idea. However, I'm always open to new ideas, so anything can be changed. Now, I'm sure many of you have a lot of questions about the mechanics of the game, the lore and the story, and what the game is about and what is my vision for it. Don't worry, I will be discussing these aspects of the game in the next video. It will be a chill video where I talk about the game in general, so stay tuned for that if you want to learn more about this project. But for now, let's add some attack animations. Before we dive into that, I wanted to share a couple of exciting updates with you all. Firstly, I have set up a Discord server for the community, so please feel free to join us there to discuss anything related to art and programming. I believe it will be a great way for us to connect and share our projects and we can have a great time. Secondly, I'm excited to announce that I have set up a Patreon account for those who are interested in supporting the channel and my projects. I would be incredibly grateful for any support you can offer, whether that's through Patreon or simply by liking and subscribing to the channel. However, I completely understand that not everyone can contribute financially, so please don't feel any pressure to do so. Just watching my devlogs means a lot to me. All the links will be in the description for anyone who is interested, and with that being said, let's get started. We left off from the previous devlog with pretty much nothing. We had just an idle animation and a run animation with some basic movements, which many of you by the way have pointed out that the speed of the movement is too slow for the animation, which of course I agree with and I try to fix it. It's okay for now, but I'm not gonna say it's perfect. That run animation is kinda too fast for the speed I want the character to move by, so I have to find a solution for that later. So what I wanted to add is some melee combo attack animations, and they are in every game that has melee combat in it, and they usually go like this. Now the issue is, I'm not an animator. All I have is some random animations gathered from everywhere. I don't have a set of animations flowing well with each other to form a tree hit combo attack. That will make the animations look weird because they were not made as combos but as separated animations for a single attack. The only thing in common in the animations I have is just the idle animation when they start and when they recover from the attack, and nothing else. That's why I try to take advantage of animation blending in Unity. When a transition is happening from one animation to another, the engine starts filling the gaps in between, so it looks a bit smoother than just jumping to the next animation instantly. Which I will use later anyway because it will work better than blending in my case. So I try to implement these attack mechanics, so if you press the attack button the first attack animation will be played. And if you press the attack button again before the attack goes into a recovery state, it will transition into the second attack. And the same thing for the third one. 
And it looks okay, but the issue is that sometimes the transition does not happen, because the animation events get skipped for some reason if you have to blend between animations. With some research, I found out that this is a known issue in the engine, and it seems it didn't get fixed yet. I saw many people talking about AnimAnswer, because it plays the events into the transition itself, not in the animation, so they cannot be skipped. However, when I read the docs, I found that this feature does not work with humanoid rigging, so I cannot use it. I went back and tried to find a solution, but it did not work well. Whatever I do, sometimes the events get skipped anyway. Also, the feeling and the look of the attack were not satisfying to play or to look at. It was not quick or tight as I wanted to be. And for some reason, I felt it will be better if the attack animations transition instantly without blending. So, I've ended up deleting several hours worth of work, and had to start all over again. Because I have the attack animation and the recovery animation in one clip, it will be hard and error prone to determine where the attack part and where the recovery part is, considering that sometimes the events are getting skipped when a transition is happening. To fix that, I have cut the attack parts and the recovery parts and put them in different clips. That way I can know exactly the current state of the character and behave accordingly. But this time no blending in transitions, the animation will jump instantly to the next attack. And I can say that the changes I made worked because the attack now feels quick and snappy as I want it to be. Of course it was not perfect and there was many issues and bugs that I had to spend hours fixing and trying to make it feel and look great or even acceptable. And I had to pay attention to the code as well because it started to get a bit unorganized and when that dude will get big I will have hard times debugging things if it is not well structured. After many hours of tweaking I guess the attack is okay for now, always there is room for improvements of course but at least I guess it is on the right track and I will try to make it better along the way. The next thing I wanted to add is a dash mechanic because it will be important for the combat and for the movements of the player. Dodging enemies attacks is one of the basics of almost any combat system, so I guess implementing it now and seeing how it flow with the attack is important. Although a dash is not technically a dodge, but it can be used to serve or mimic that mechanic. Technically it worked, but I guess I made the dash too quick, as you can see the dash has no real feeling or impact, but this is fixable, at least I didn't find any errors or bugs, it works very well with the attack with no pro- What the- no! The dash made the attack break sometimes, so again, hours of fixing. Yeah, that is the game dev I guess, adding something in order to break the rest. But eventually I got them working well together and I guess it's good. It kinda gives the feeling I'm looking for, but it was not enough, these mechanics need some effects, even basic ones will do the job for now I guess. Before doing the effects, I wanted the attack to strike where you aim, so I had to add that as well. At least it worked from the first time. Yeah, I guess. After that I made some effects for the attack, I used the particle system so it can look like a slash effect or something. It doesn't look 100% as I want it to be, but I will leave it like that for now. And for the dash I made a shader with the shader graph. The shader itself is quite simple, but it works for giving the feeling of a body trail when dashing. I guess that one looks pretty cool, let me know what you think about it. I was curious about how it will feel when adding some sound effects. I barely found some sounds on the internet that works, and even the ones I picked needed some adjustments. This made me realize that I must learn how to make my own sounds and music. So yeah, this is the result after adding some sound effects. So that was it for this devlog, I hope you enjoyed it and you are liking the progress of the game. Please feel free to tell me your thoughts in the comments, I will be more than happy to read them all. Also do not forget to join us on the discord server, we will be waiting for you there. I'm so glad that many of you are interested in the game, the journey has just begun and it will be a long one, so your support will really make a difference. Thank you all for watching and see you in the next one.